Hey everybody, I'm here today with a driving lesson on reversing in an automatic car. In this video, I'll be going over three specific things and I'll be dividing it up into three parts. The first part will be about where you should be looking and focusing on when you're reversing. The second part will be about actually moving backward and the speed of reversing. The third part will be about steering while in reverse. And then I'll actually demonstrate myself reversing this car after I've spoken about it, after I've told you about what each of those three things. Now let's get right to it. I'm actually going to start off by turning the camera around and telling you where you should be looking or focusing on when reversing an automatic car, okay? So let's turn the camera around. As you can see, I'm here in my Mazda 3 in a parking lot, a nice closed off environment without any traffic. So when you're reversing, okay, there are a few key areas that you have to look at, okay? First and foremost, you have to make sure that you're constantly checking your mirrors, all three of your mirrors. You have a side mirror over here on the left side, you have a rear view mirror over here on, in the middle, and then a side mirror over there on the right. Now this side mirror will allow you to see down the side of your car. So as you can see, this is actually the side of my car, there's the outline, and that's all down the side of my car. This mirror over here allows you to get a good idea about what's going on out the rear windshield of the car. So you can see out the rear windshield of the car. This mirror allows you to see down the other side of the car. As you can see right over there, there is the outline of the car and then this is all down the side of the car. Now in addition to the mirrors, you should be checking over your shoulder. So here is what I would see over my right shoulder. You can actually see all of the environment outside of the car. And here's what I'd see over my left shoulder. I can see all of this environment outside of the car. And you should also be turning your head around to look completely out that rear windshield with your two eyes, not using any mirrors to do that. So you have to basically check your mirrors, check over your shoulders, and check out that rear windshield. And you have to actually do this consistently and constantly as you reverse. Basically, you're going to be just constantly checking back and forth as you are reversing, okay? Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about, the second part of this video is actually the movement of reversing, okay? So as you can see here, I have an automatic transmission. What you wanna do is you wanna put your foot on the brake, okay? Hold your foot down on the brake, shift the gear selector into reverse, release your parking brake if you are using a parking brake, and then what you wanna do is you wanna just slowly release your foot just a bit. So right now I've released it a little bit and the car still isn't moving. But what I would do is I would just start off if I was learning to drive by releasing it just a little bit. So I've released it just a bit. And as you can see, I'm literally like inching backwards, okay? Very, very slowly and I've just stopped the car. You don't ever want to press the gas pedal while in reverse because that can cause the car to move back really quickly. You just want to release your foot off of the brake ever so slightly while constantly looking through those mirrors, those shoulder checks, and also the blind spots, okay? Uh, and also through the rear, rear windshield over there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the car back in park right now just for the rest of this explanation. And that is the third part, which is steering, okay? So steering while in reverse. So basically, you have a steering wheel right here, okay? While you're reversing, if you steer to the left, the rear of your car is gonna head to your left. So the rear of my car would head in this direction if I was reversing and I was steering to the left, okay? It's the easiest way to remember it. If, on the other hand, I was steering to the right, okay, the rear of my car would head to the right, okay? It would head this way. So you can decide which direction you need to steer in, but that's the easiest way to remember it. Another thing to note about steering in reverse is that the front end of your car will swing out in the opposite direction of where you are turning the steering wheel. So if I'm turning the steering wheel to the left over here as I'm reversing, the front end of my car is actually gonna swing out this way to my right. So you have to be careful uh, if you're in a tight spot that you know, you're know you only steering a little bit because the more that you steer while you reverse, the more that your front end is gonna swing out. So if you don't want your front end to swing out that much, then you're only gonna have to steer just a little bit. If you turn the steering wheel all the way to the left, then what's gonna happen is your front end is gonna swing out very, 
significantly to the right. So you have to be mindful of that when reversing, okay? So with those three things in mind, I'm actually gonna just turn the camera around and show you myself reversing. Now, when I turn the camera around like this, I can't quite see what the camera can see, okay? Because I'm not using the front-facing camera on my phone. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna assume that you can see exactly what I'm doing, and I'm gonna explain it. So I'm trying to give you the best view possible about what I'm doing, all right? So let's get right to it. I'm in the parking spot. I've put my car in reverse. My foot is on the brake, pressed down nice and firmly. I've released the parking brake or the emergency brake and I'm gonna just release the brake ever so slightly and I'll let you see right now um, basically the speed at which I'm moving. And I'm checking my mirrors, doing my shoulder checks, checking out that mirror right out the rear windshield, moving back very, very slowly and I'm turning the steering wheel a little bit and now that I'm sort of out of the parking space, I'm gonna crank that steering wheel because I know that my front end of my car is not gonna hit anything or scrape anything, okay? So what I'm doing now is I'm just reversing very slowly. Now I'm actually gonna drive forward and I'll show you uh, myself reversing in a straight line, okay? So the only reason that I cranked that steering wheel is because I knew that I wasn't gonna hit or scrape anything, okay? So now I'm gonna put the car in reverse. I can look around me and ensure that there are no pedestrians, no obstructions, no traffic. There's nothing going on here, which is great for this video. I'm holding the steering wheel straight right now. So I'm keeping one hand on the steering wheel to hold it straight. And I'm looking around, ensuring that I can see everything. And then I'm moving back safely. As you can see, I'm moving very, very slowly, constantly checking the mirrors, doing my shoulder checks, and looking out that rear windshield. And when you want to reverse in a straight line, I would recommend doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Just constantly switching hand to hand on that steering wheel so you can see. I've seen some people hold one hand and just look like this, but what happens is if you're just looking in one way out there, just out the rear windshield, you don't see what's happening on this side of the car. There could be a car approaching you, there could be traffic, pedestrians, anything on this side of the car. So if you just reverse like this, I see so many people just do this. The whole time they're reversing, not such a good idea because you're limiting yourself to only seeing about 70% of what's going on around your car. You're seeing only what's happening here. You have no vision on this side over here. So with that being said, that's why I switch hands back and forth. That makes the most sense to me. That is my way for reversing safely. And that's basically it. I'm just gonna grab the camera right over here. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that the camera gave you a good view when I, when I had it facing myself as I was reversing. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.